explain. Okay. Perfect. Cement here. Okay. Okay, so welcome back. Uh, let me get rid of this here. Let's go to. Okay, we will get book checkouts today. That's kind of our main goal is to check out books. I don't know where I left off with this yesterday. I might have got through the whole thing. I might have only got through maybe a couple slides. I don't know. We're going to kind of. I'm not going to do the full thing over because that's kind of pointless, but I just want to get the highlights today. Okay? Uh, you'll get your book today. Uh, notice your first book assignment's on the board. I don't have it in the right spot. Usually I put it at the very bottom, but everyone has the same first assignment. You've got to get a book cover on your book. When is it due? Wednesday. 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 I'll be here Wednesday. Okay, that's fine. Or Monday or Tuesday. Okay. Turn in Thursday. Okay. Just bring your book with you. Okay. Um, there's not an option. You have to have the book cover. It's five points to have it on. Five points. If you don't have it on by Wednesday, or if they get it back Thursday, if it's not, you get a zero in the grade book and you already failed day one. And I don't change it. It stays zero and your parents can freak out. Will that be certain? No. No, it's fine. So, all right. So, um, how do I explain that one last class? All right, I'll do it. Um, but anyways, um, need, a, need a book cover. Now, um, one of the major things that uh, we talked about yesterday, I'm a model teacher. There will be random teachers and administrators in here. Nothing personal. They're here to watch the lesson that day. I invited them for some reason, okay? Um, so don't be thrown off by that. I think last year I had a geometry class. Miss Greaser, I invited her to be in it. She wanted to see it one day. And she just actively participated, and she thought it was funny, and the kids were, like, so thrown off by that. You had an English teacher, especially Greaser, in my room, like, having a good time, like, answering questions and being actively involved in, like, a project. So, um, so just go with it. Um, uh, all right, now, background, you guys know that stuff about me. All right, class materials. These are the non-negotiables. These have to be on your persons when you walk in. Every single day you walk in here. Pencil, pen, if it's erasable pen. Um, textbook with book cover. That You need a book cover because we don't have the online version. You have to have that book on you. Um, again, I always say that you know some days we won't use it, but it's nice to have in case we need to reference something. Notebook, paper, calculator. These are the great calculators. Don't go buy something more expensive. That's stupid. This is a fine calculator. You can have this the rest of your life and you'll be fine. Okay. Um, I'll show you different pictures of those here in a minute. Uh, I say MacBook, sorry. Chromebook, you need a Chromebook with you. Because um, we are going to refer to stuff. We are going to look up stuff today, even, on your Chromebook. I know that seems weird. We are going to look up stuff so we can talk about it. Okay? Um, that's, that's my goal when we get started here today. Um, textbook, this is it. I think this morning it was 150 so it went down in price a little bit this morning. But uh, Consumer Math, okay? that's the used book price. I think it was 150 one with 59 or something like that, new, so it was almost, I'd probably just buy new. But um, don't lose it. It's got, got a lot of pages, a lot of chapters in it. Expect to cover that stuff, okay? You're gonna get it today, they're individually numbered. Don't exchange them, don't leave them on your locker, don't leave them in the, uh, in the cafeteria, don't leave them in the PE lockers. So I don't need to have it smell like a job strap, okay? Um, here's your calculators. These are fine, five, ten dollar calculator. Perfect, gold. These are stupid, don't buy them. They're way too expensive, it's pointless, that's a waste of money. You can spend that money on that and be more productive than that. Um, I have 10, you guys know the drill, I have 10 calculators. I have 10, there's more than 10 of you in here. Okay, there's more than 10 of you in here. I think I have 21 in here or something like that. 20 or something. Um, you need a calculator. Because I'm gonna, I know there's gonna be somebody that's gonna be on test day that's gonna throw a fit because they don't have a calculator. Because 10 are gone, how are they supposed to ever do a calculation in their life without a calculator? You can do it by hand. Now you're supposed to learn that back in junior high days. How to add and subtract, multiply and divide by hand. So, buy a calculator so we don't have that epic fit that you don't have a calculator. You've been warned, okay? Classroom expectations, pretty easy. The major bullet, challenge yourself. You know, I wanna make this class important for you. Right? I want you to learn something that you can actually use. There's a lot of pointless topics out there. I understand that. But if we can get something that you will actually use and you find actually like important, that's the greatest lesson we can get. So if there's a topic you want to discuss in math, 
like you want to know more about this topic or you didn't understand what we talked about yesterday or um, maybe you're in the market to buy a car or you're going to go get an apartment or something that you want to know about. That's a topic I want to know so we can work it in so that it's important to you. It's, it's actually productive, right? All right. Um, be here, be on time. You guys, you guys can find it. Just start with each other. Okay? All right. The big thing about this, disruptive behavior, not tolerated, you guys know drill, your assignment textbook, you need to make sure you bring that textbook. It has to be individually numbered so that you can just exchange it, okay? Seating arrangement, this eventually will go away. You guys are old enough, I don't think I need to give you a seating arrangement. I think you can handle it yourself, unless it becomes a problem where you're not paying attention because you just want to talk to your neighbor, okay? Cell phones, I need them up there in the cabin. So if you guys want to do that right now, Mine's up there. If you don't have a cell phone, I'm not going to grow you for it. But they need to be up there right now, please. You can put them anywhere you want. They don't have to be in the exact, you know, spots. You can just put them wherever you want, as long as you remember them. I have mine, but I love it in the other class. Get it after this. That's good. You don't need to worry about it. And if you don't put it up there, I'm assuming you don't have it. So I'm not going to grow you, because maybe you don't have it, maybe your parents took it away, maybe you don't even have a cell phone in the first place, which is fine. You don't need one of you. I survived many a day without a cell phone. I didn't have a cell phone since my senior year of high school anyway. Perfect. Okay. Appreciate it. Thank you for trusting that and going and uh, putting those in there. Uh, now, here's the thing I warned you of yesterday. I'm not going to grill you. Like, I'm not going to go up there and count. There's 20, 20 of you in here, and I'm not going to count. Oh, there's 20, there's 18 cell phones. I'm not that person. What I do have a problem with is if if the cell phone goes there and I hear it bing, bing, and it's not up there, now we have a problem. Because now I'm going to grill you until I get that cell phone. You're going to empty your pockets, you're going to do anything. Okay? Because my trust was that you put it up there and I don't have to ask for it. Mine's up there. Mine's number 30. It'll stay up there all the time. Okay. Um, so yeah. Now, if it's an emergency, you don't even have to tell me the details. Just say it's an emergency. I need my cell phone. Fine. I'm not going to argue. That's yours. Okay. I understand those those days. But I'm not that person that's going to grill until I hear it. Then we have a problem because then you broke my trust. Okay. Um, if it goes off, I'm not that person that's going to take it. I, I think there's teachers out there that it goes off up there and they're like, it's mine now. You trusted me. You put it up there. I'm not going to take it from you. You put it there. You're not touching it. It's not your fault. So I'm not taking it. If you trust me, I'm going to leave it there. Unless I got to like need it, then I'm going to need your help because I don't know how to run Android phone. I don't have to run my phone. So that's about it. All right. Disability challenges. You got to let me know. I talked about it yesterday that that if you have a disability, you have to let me know. Like I've done this before. So this is what you'll probably see on Monday, right? Like my outline. My outline usually goes here, but this is what you'd see, right? What's the problem with what I just did? It's in red. If you're colorblind red, you honestly didn't see anything I just wrote. It just looks gray. Like you, it probably blended with the background, and it looks like my marker didn't work, and I just committed to it. That's a problem. You have to let me know. Maybe that color for you where you're sitting doesn't work. Because maybe you're like way over there, like where Rachel's sitting, maybe you can't even see that. Like the, this thing may have aligned to you. Yeah, I know that, right? So you gotta let me know. Sometimes people are just like black. I'll go black. That's fine. Okay. Um, just make sure you gotta let me know. If you're dyslexic or you suffer from dyslexia, I probably should know that already because it's probably in the report. But um, you need to like let the nurses know and stuff because that's a serious that's a serious hindrance. If I'm clicking through my PowerPoints really fast and you haven't had time to process, so because you the whole point is. For me to make this as you know as easy as possible to learn, right? All right, cheating not tolerated. I understand there's there's Slater.com. I'm not blind. I understand Slater exists. Slater's a great website. It is. It's nice to check answers. It's good, but don't use it as your homework. Don't just go on Slater. Just look at the page and just copy down every answer that I assign. You're not learning. What happens when we get to the later chapters that actually need what you were supposed to learn? And you don't know it. You just use Slater. Now we're in trouble because now you're too behind. 
Okay, so just make sure. It's nice to check answers. There's a difference between checking and just copying it. Okay. All right. Too much to handle, too bad to sad. Homework. Two to three assignments a week, 10 to 25 problems. If it's 25 problems, I don't think I would do that to you. Um, it's probably because it's just a simple calculation, like you just had to type something in, hit enter, and that's your answer, and you just write it down. So I would not expect to see something like that. Late work. You can always redo assignments. You guys know this from geometry days. You did a homework assignment, you turned it in, and let's say we have let's say we have a book assignment due Wednesday next week. I don't know. Let's say we do. You turn it Wednesday, I hand it back to you Friday, let's say, and you miss six points on it. You can make fixes on that page that I hand it back to you, turn it back in, I regrade it for a whole hundred percent, as long as it's correct. Because I don't want you to worry about homework. Redo the ones you missed, because I want you to learn what we what you made a mistake on. Now, the one thing you can't fix is a book cover. You're thinking, well, I could just put a book cover on. No, it was an all or nothing deal for that one. So I'll warn you when that's going to happen. Um, test quizzes. You can always retake any test you want one time. Every test, one time. So Higher score. Higher score, every time. Doesn't matter. So I don't have enough people to take advantage of that sometimes. They just forget about that policy. Every test, any test, one time, it'll be a new test. I'll just, you know, redo the redo the policy that's on it. You know, I'll redo the problems that are on it to a different homework problem, but or something that's relevant. Um, but it won't be any harder. It's just going to be a different test. So, but you can always retake. You have to spend a minimum of ten minutes with me, and once we're through that, then you can retake it. We'll schedule time. It has to be before or after school. If you if that doesn't work for you, then you don't get to retake it because you're not going to make the time commitment to it. Okay. Uh, pop quiz, you can't retake. It's what you know that day. I don't, I'm not that person that does like five minute check things. I don't do that, so it's not me. It does, I don't see the point of doing something like that because you haven't started the day yet. So, but I will do a quiz every now and then. And a class, like, hey, got a piece of paper, we're doing a quiz today. Ooh, okay. Can't retake those. Grading policies, A's or 90's, B's or 80's, 70's or C's, 60's or D's, F goes down to one, you don't get a zero. You have to do work. If you're not gonna do work, you're not gonna be in this room. If you're that person like, I'm not going to do that assignment, you're not going to be in here. You're going to be in the office explaining to them why you won't do an assignment. Because I assigned it for a reason. It's important. It's something that I feel that was important for you guys. So you have to do it. And I do it, by the way, if you don't remember from geometry days, I do every single assignment that I assign you guys up here as well. So I have notebooks. I do every problem from the book. So you can always use this as a reference. You can use it kind of like an key. I have no problem if you ask me, hey, what do you get for number 12? It's up here. Come look. Because if I assign to you, I expect myself to be able to do it as well. So that's why I do it every time. Uh, quarter semesters are 40, 40, 20. 40% 40 first quarter, 40% second quarter, 20% is your semester test. Yes, you do have semester test in here. Um, it'll be something that is useful. Like I'm gonna, when I do the semester test, it's always the main things you were supposed to learn. Not like weird, obscure thing that, oh my God, it was like a Tuesday, random Tuesday, and it was just something we learned for two minutes. It's going to be a major bullet we spent serious time on. Okay. All right. Grade book. Three categories. 55% of your grade in the grade book is homework, because we spend the most time on homework. 40% is test, because I do need to see that you can do it by yourself without the help of somebody else. And 5% participation. You have to be conscious in class, actively asking questions. I have no problem with people firing around an answer like, hey, answer's 12. It's not 12. I have no problem with you throwing your answer out there and like trying to take a stab at it and maybe it wasn't right. That's fine, that's participating. You can, you can, you know, struggle with things. You can get answers wrong. I'm not perfect, I'll admit that. It's fine, I want participation. I want you to throw an answer like, hey, it's answer 12. Huh? No, it's not, well, let's figure out why, why you came up with 12. Okay, questions on um, any of the policies. We talked about all that stuff yesterday, correct? Okay, perfect, at least most of it anyway. All right, now. The next thing, on the board, you see three web addresses, correct? It's a shameless plug, those are my websites. All three of those will take you to the same website. Here it is. Not that. Here it is. This is my website. I put it together for you guys two years ago. Okay? What this is, it's free, there's no ads, there's nothing. You don't log in, you don't do anything. Um, you can use this to watch any videos of any class I recorded. I record all 180 days that you're in here. I'm recording right now. I recorded yesterday. I saw that. Okay? I post those videos online after school and they'll stay up there for the rest of your life. I never take them down. So those are the three, they'll always go to the same website. I think probably most people probably use the top one. It makes the most sense. GHB math. 
I always try to buy new ones when I find a one that I kind of like. I got MrWord.org, I got HSMath.org, I got a bunch of different ones. Okay, now here's the website. Most people probably spend the first click right at the top bar. They won't, you know, they won't scroll. Because this website is very pretty, it can scroll for days, and it's very pretty. All right, now, 90% of you will probably just click on the daily lessons at the top, which is fine. Okay, the daily lessons is a little drop down, it has all my classes. Um, so you guys would click consumer map at the bottom, right? Now, um, archive is from previous years. Now, I, I, for you guys, sorry, there is no previous year of consumer math that I've had recorded, so I don't have anything like this first year teaching it um, since 2012, not back then, um, for years before that. Um, and then uh, these are all the previous years and other classes. Professional development is for any of those teachers and administrators coming in here. We have girls basketball, student council, and chess club. Yes, I run a chess club, so chess, and then things about me. Now, the daily lessons. You can get you can get there from clicking daily lessons and go down to consumer math on this little drop down ribbon thing, or you can scroll down and see pretty quotes and pictures, and you can get the daily lessons here. This I update every day after school at about four o'clock, so these will change. Like today, that picture will change, calc outline will change. The, these are clickable links, so the pictures, the words here, are clickable. They'll take you right to that daily lesson. This was yesterday's stuff. Um, this is job trees, this is pre-calc, and here's consumer. You can click on the word, the picture, the homework, and it'll take you, in. it's got the outline of like what we're talking about that day. Okay. Um, now, if you keep scrolling, it'll have class offerings. Um, you can click um, the word, I think consumer math doesn't work right now. I gotta fix that. I didn't realize this wasn't a clickable link. So, but anyways, you can click the word, you can click the picture down here, it'll take you all to the same thing. Now, if you click this one, this will take you to that one day. But if you click on like the book at the bottom, or you click this clickable link at the top for consumer, this will take you to all the videos for the year. So you can see this here, right? You can see it's got, you know, it's got some links here. Um, whatever video I post will be here. I gotta fix this along. You're gonna about to watch me fix this right in front of you. Uh, take a minute here to fix this. Edit, edit, I'll fix this right in front of you so you can see how this works and how fast this is. Alright, so it's fixed, let me hit refresh. So now any daily video will show up, boom, there it is. All right. So, how this works. Um, the links at the top, these are important. If you don't understand some concept in math, like what we're talking about, you can click Khan Academy, you can watch other people's videos. There, you don't even have to log in, there's no accounts. Um, you can um, do two tutorials, you can actually try worksheets, you can try clickable link problems where you can actually try them out. Um, that's kind of cool, it's free, you don't even have to log in. Um, Sign map, this, you know that calculator I told you yesterday not to buy, that TI-89 that can do solving? Sign map is that thing. Sign map is just this thing where you can type in a problem, hit enter, and it shows you how to solve it, and it does it there. The reason I put that there, it's nice to see how to solve something, especially if you don't know how. Um, Wolfram Alpha is the, probably the greatest calculator I've ever seen. And it's, it's an encyclopedia, but it's a calculator because it's made by Microsoft. It can do anything. Um, it looks like a search engine. It looks like Google. It basically, like, when you pull up Wolfram Alpha, it looks like Google, just a plain search box. But it doesn't search the internet. It just pulls up what it knows. So if you type in a math problem, it solves the problem because it's a calculator. Literally, it's a calculator. It will solve it, show you way too much information about that problem, like what the history was, where it came from, what it's used for. Graphs, everything. It goes a little excessive. It's awesome. But it's an encyclopedia. You can type in really anything and it'll just give you information. It's a great website if you ever need research on something. It did all the work for you. So it's kind of cool. Um, but those are those are links. I'll add more. I think I even might even add Slater to that. I know that you're like, Lord, what are you doing? It's nice what to check the Yeah, don't even act like that. But it's nice to know what your answer is. Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not I'm not realist. It's nice to check an answer. I don't want you to cheat, but I want you to know how to solve something. So, but any of the videos, like today's video will be right here, it'll be August 24th, it'll have a picture, usually me pointing at something, and then I'll have the outline. But then this is yesterday, so I posted this yesterday after school, or at least I updated it after school, because I already had it posted. But it has a picture, this usually is me pointing, it has the outline of like what we're talking about, and now if there's homework, this is what it will look like. Now if it's a worksheet, it'll have a clickable link worksheet. What I mean by that, if you click, this, um, it'll download the worksheet to your Chromebook, you can print it. 
Um, I know there's a MacBook in the library right now that um, the MacBook is sitting on that middle table. If you go on there, you go on my website because you don't need to log in. You can click that link, it will download the worksheet to that Mac, and then you can print out the printer that's in the media center. So if you ever lose a worksheet or you need to get something from the website. But I'll show you that example here like what a worksheet looks like. Now, if there's an outline or a PowerPoint like we did earlier, they're here, it automatically scrolls unless you want to click the arrow so you can go faster through it. Okay? Um, and then if there's a video, this was yesterday's video. I post it every day at 4 o'clock, and these will stay up for the rest of the review. It's life. Okay? So, not bad. It looks good. It's 1080p. You can zoom in. It even does closed captioning in case you can't hear me. You can actually read it. So, um, so there's no ads or anything. What? Pitch up your voice and the words like that. Yeah. Yeah, I can automatically do it. Um, eventually, later this year, I will get a new camera. I'm going to get a 4K camera. Um, so 1080p. I know that's unnecessary. You'll be able to see the pores in my face and the in the front. But, um, but it's nice. It's nice to have good quality so you can actually see it without it being blurry and fuzzy and you can't read it. So that will be later this year. But right now, this camera is really nice. Especially on days like when we just do a PowerPoint or we're just doing a project and I have a camera point on the project, I'll zoom super far in so you can see it. I'll try not to use your faces or anything like that. I can't help from the front sorry. But, um, I'm not focusing on that. But especially if it's just a PowerPoint, I zoom in just so you can see the PowerPoint. Um, it's really big. You can see a fly flying on the board on those days. So, um, but yeah, so this is for you. I will never take these videos down. They're up to the rest of its life. Um, that's nice. So you can watch any day in case you're gone, you're sick, and you need to watch the video. Or you just need to get what we did. Or you're like, I didn't even know what the homework was. Did we explain it? You can watch the video again. It's for you guys. I get a lot of hits per month, believe it or not. I think last year I was averaging 2,000 or 2,100 hits per month on that website. I was getting about 2,000 views a video because people are just re-watching a certain part of it, so it's click counting. But I don't put any ads, I don't collect any revenue, none. And I could collect probably some serious money from doing that, but I don't. The reason why, it's for you guys. I do it for you because nothing's worse than being frustrated that you don't know how to do it. You have to watch it again. It's nice. Like a lot of people like this website. They use it a lot. I recommend it. It's a shameless plug, but it's useful. Okay? Um, if you want to see what a worksheet looks like, here you go. Okay? Uh, the worksheets look like this. So let's, I'll just click Geometry last year. So this Geometry 2017 that I went through the archive at the top, sorry. Um, but let's go to a day where there's a worksheet. Let's see, I need a review day. Semester review, okay, here we go. Semester review, so this is just a normal day. It's usually what kind of I do here. It's got the outline of what we talked about that day. Usually, I like there's problems, I put the problems on there, but this day, um, they had a worksheet. So that's a clickable link, you can see it. There's an actual like clickable link there. It'll download directly to your Chromebook if you reprint it. I think it even opens it up in Google Drive, like in Google like, Word and stuff, and you can actually print Google Doc. Okay, if there's a video, you can see it, and there it is. I don't take any of them down. I'm not, you know, I'm not ashamed of any of those videos because we're learning. Right? You know, learning can be messy some days. We don't need to have them always pretty and nice and neat. So, questions, comments about any of that? Okay, I know a lot of people, like, you didn't know about that or you forgot or you just didn't realize how deep felt like going to that. I spent a lot of money and time doing that for you. It's for you guys. So, all right. Um, we're going to do book checkout here. Um, I'm going to hand out your books here in a second. You've got an individual number, so make sure that you're kind of not. All right. Sorry. The camera only lasts about 24 minutes, and then it stops, so then I have to restart it again. All right. Okay, so let's do some book checkouts here.
Okay, more do I need? I got a Tell me that number, and then your neighbors are going to look at your book to see that you just told me the right number. I know that seems silly. The reason why I do this, I had a kid two years ago, I believe, it was geometry. They had their number, it was 27 or something like that. They told me 72. Honest mistake. This one, 72. End of the year, they're checking in, turn in 27. They told me 72. I charged them $140 for book because they told me their number wrong. Honest mistake, right? So you're gonna tell me a number, your neighbor's gonna look to see that you just told me the right number so you didn't have a little lapse of dyslexia. And then I'm gonna repeat your number out loud and you're gonna check it again that you just told me the right number. Does that make sense? And your neighbors will check it again. To say that I just said the right number and you're seeing it again as the right number. Make sense? I don't seem excessive. Did he pay? Yeah, she paid. He or she? Pissed. Did she keep that? I was super pissed. pissed. <laughs> Not my fault. That's funny. Your fault. Did she keep the other book? I'm sure she did. <laughs> what was that? No. How did you right. find out that it wasn't like. So. I don't know. So. Well, I just did a count at the end of the year and I got all my books back. So I was like, totally not. <laughs> Alright. Let's go through. If I don't see your name, sorry, I'll come back. I'll loop back around. Maybe I'll catch you on again. All right, so uh, let's go. Caitlin. 63. 63. Somebody double check. 63, yeah. Okay. Uh, Kylie. 19. 19. Somebody double check. Yep. Yeah, okay. Matt. 26. 26. Somebody yep. double check. Yep. Fred. 3. Three. Yes, sir. Okay. okay, good. Nick. 8. Eight. Let me double check. Okay. Destiny. Forty-three. Forty-three. Yes. Okay. Brandon. Seven. Seven. You. Okay. Eric. Forty-four. Forty-four. Let me double check. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rachel. Forty-two. Forty-two. Good. Okay. Good. Sean. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Yeah. Okay. Matt. Forty-nine. Forty-nine. Let me double check. Yep. Good. All right. Allison. Nine. Nine. Let me double yep. check. Okay. Andrew. Twenty-nine. Twenty-nine. Double check. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Carly. Twenty. Twenty. Let me double check. Yep. Caitlin. Or Caitlin. Sorry. What? Forty. Forty. Double check. Yep. Okay. Ben. Eighty-three. Eighty-three. Double check. Yep. Okay. Chase. Forty-five. Yep. Okay. Michaela. So. 15. 15. Let me double check. Yep. Okay. Uh, Brody. 30. 30. Let me double check. Yep. Okay. And Hannah. 14. 14. Double check. Yes. Okay. Did I miss anybody by accident? Good. First time. What is it? Book cover. Book cover. By Wednesday. Or if the egg people are gone, the day you get it. Okay. All right. Now, here's the thing. I, don't put your books away. Uh, I think we got a little bit of time here. A uh, little bit. Um, all right. Here's what I want to make sure of. Open up to the first page, page one. You are names, and these are not. No, you know it doesn't matter because I have the numbers right now. All right. Page one, please. Not the Roman numerals or anything like that. Actually, page one, not an I. All right. So what you're looking at on page one, it should be the this should be the title of the chapter. Chapters always start with this big outline. It's got a bunch of bullets. Like these are the things we're going to cover. I know that you're looking at us going no, really. Yeah, this is supposed to be useful. Something that, like, everyday life you should think about when you're out in the real world. Okay? Uh, it always has a big picture of something. Now, if you flip to the next page, what am I on? Page two, I guess? Yeah. Page two is the actual first section. Now, on, on that, on like Monday, now this is just an example. Monday, I'll have, you know, the subsection, that's an SS subsection. I'll have the number, I'll have whatever the to topic is. I think it's wages, not hourly rate, right? but it's wages. And then we'll have a bunch of bullets. That stuff will be here. That's the, that's the stuff we need to talk about that day. Okay? 
Um, below that, they have you know, a word bank. Um, you know, usually a word bank, um, any of the highlighted words in bold, and no, I do not do uh, vocabulary or any tests, because it's not geometry anymore. Um, but these are words you should know if in case I use them, they're in bold. Um, they have examples. Now, if you notice your book, your book is really nice. It's very simple. It's not overly wordy, right? If you look at that, it's one section, it's one page, they have some examples at the bottom. They don't go into a lot of explanation. The reason why, most of the topics are very straightforward and you just need practice or real life example of it, right? So, that's what you're looking at. So at the bottom we'll do some calculations. So as you're saying, I'm not gonna assign a lot of math problems. You know, at the bottom there's only, what, 10? But there's, there's a lot of topics we're gonna talk about. There's topics outside this book we're gonna look at. There's things that are difficult from Algebra 2 from other classes we are going to look at. And you're like, Lord, I didn't sign up for Algebra 2. No, but that topic that's in the Algebra 2 applies to what you're looking at and what you need to know. Something that, if I were to send you out of this room, I'd be disappointed that you didn't know it in the real world. Okay? Um, so there is things we are going to talk about that are outside this book. I like this book. It's a very simple, very elegant book. Don't lose it. Don't damage it. Don't rip it. Don't throw it away. Okay? You do need to have this book every single day with you. First assignment is a book cover. It's easy. It's five points. Now, let's talk about the book cover. Because okay, I know some people always ask. I forgot to talk to you about this in the last class. Sorry about that. Sock covers. These are great. Fine. Perfect. You got one of these? Perfect. Okay? That's fine. I like this. Now, the only problem I have with these sock covers, if this book, your book, gets wet with this thing on there, it dyes the book this color. It does. It bleeds. Because it's like a, it's like when you buy a new shirt for the first time. So when you bought that shirt for the first time, it will turn everything in your laundry red. So if you have any white, it's pink now, right? Same thing here. This has never been washed, so it's just waiting to get wet. So just be careful of that. I don't need pink pages. I need this to come back white. Okay. Um, now, that's fine. These are cheap, they're good, everyone has them. They don't do a lot of protecting. It's more just superficial look. This is overkill. This is a Bill's Family food bag. Um, you can see it, it was an actual bag, and what they did is they covered it with duct tape. So they found this like, crazy duct tape story thing, and they covered it. That's excessive. I like the food, uh, the Bill's Family food bag. Doing the extra duct tape was a little overkill. Um, but it comes up. It's easy. It has to be able to come off. The book can slide out of this thing. This thing is not attached to my book. I just left it on there because I liked it and I thought it looked cool. So, um, but that's the type of book cover. If you're going to choose a newspaper, because I know some people like that, like, I'm going to use newspaper. Just know that after a week or a month, that paper disintegrates. It just goes away. It just, it won't even be covered in the book anymore. Okay. Now, the luxury you guys have, this book is really light. It's, what, a pound or two? It's not going to break you. It's, it's, these are nice. That's, that's, that's a nice book, right? So just keep it, keep it, um, keep it tidy and don't lose it, okay? All right, now, does everyone have their Chromebook? Okay, you can put your book away for right now. Here's what I need you to do. Um, in your Chromebook, hopefully you've logged in for the first time, you know how to get in. I know it's inconvenient, some people don't like the bag thing, it makes it bulky. It's fine, it's whatever. It's, it's a school computer. Alright, now, now, when, once you log in, um, here's what I like you to do. I know this is really not a first assignment, it's just something I'd like you to do. Maybe you already know. I need you to go online and find evidence of a job that you're interested in. Uh, career, maybe that you're thinking about going into, maybe you already know, like I'm going to be this, but I need to find evidence of the hourly rate that they're going to pay you, the wages they're going to pay you. Maybe it's a yearly wage. Maybe you sign a contract, like a teacher. A teacher signs a contract for a year. This is what I get paid, right? Or maybe you get paid per hour in the job you were seeking at some point. Maybe you're going to be a, a lineman and you know exactly what the hourly rate is. I need to see evidence somewhere online that confirms the number you're going to tell me. Because I know some people are like, I don't work, I want to get paid like $75 an hour. Eh, sure you are, buddy. Uh, I need to see evidence of that. Okay? 
Um, the reason why, this is gonna be our first chapter, right? The chapter that we're in is about wages, hourly rates, pays. This is important. You need to find a job that you're actually interested in. Because we're gonna use this number the rest of the chapter. And you have to have evidence of it. So when you find this number, this mythical number that confirms your hourly rate or your wages, your yearly wage, you need to take a screenshot of it. Because we're gonna use it for the rest of the chapter. Because the chapter's gonna talk about what you're gonna get paid per hour, what you're gonna get paid per quarter, per year, what your taxes are gonna be on that. We need everything about this job. Now, if you're not sure, you're like, oh, Lord, I have no idea what I wanna do. Pick something cool, I don't care. Pick an archeology span person. You can be Indiana Jones for all I care, but you better figure out what they're gonna get paid. Because this needs to be realistic. Don't say that, I'm gonna win the lottery. No, you're not, I know the odds of winning the lottery. You're not winning, so. I need to go look at this. What, you're gonna get paid an excessive amount? Well, I don't know where, where I go off of. I either get thirty to two hundred thousand dollars a year. Okay, so maybe you want to search the rate in Iowa or in Minnesota or Midwest or something like that. Yeah, like this is a great example. Like, what was the what was the job you're looking at? Turn and grass management. Okay, thirty to two hundred thousand dollars. That's a pretty big discrepancy, right? Everyone would like to make two hundred thousand, but in Iowa, is that realistic? Yeah, probably not. Uh, maybe you will. I mean, good luck. But okay. How would I know my family? Uh, okay, that's what we're talking about. This number is the important one. We'll talk about that. How do you like, screenshot? Okay, uh, how do you screenshot these things? <laughs> like control, 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 shift, and then the little thing above. Okay, control, so, shift, and the thing above is the number six. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. And that takes a screenshot, right? All right, I just need a screenshot of it. I don't care if it's an oh, hourly really? rate or if it's a yearly rate. I don't care which number you come up with. The whole goal is everyone's going to have a different number and now we're going to put a baseline to it. So you can compare like what I make per year to what you make. And yeah, I'll use my actual salary and stuff so you can see what I make after 13 years of teaching. It's pretty pathetic. Uh, but I think you're terrified you make more money than me after about 10 years of teaching. So. All right. And not the 200000 I'm talking the baseline. So. You want us to email it to you? Um, no, I want you to hold on to it right now. I will eventually have you email me. So that's why, it's, that's why I'm having you screenshot it for right now. Because I will eventually have you email me this, but it's going to be a part of like a little thing. You're going to be putting together a Google Doc where that picture will be on it, and we're going to add more to it. Because we're going to make it as a running kind of an assignment. But it's not really an assignment right now. This is just our first steps. Some of you might be shocked by what you see. Um, some of you might be <laughs> disheartened a little bit. Um, so kind of think about that. This is kind of important to know like what you're going to make, the reason why. We're going to eventually put together a budget. like. Maybe you know what you're going to get paid per year. So you got to put together a budget. So can you afford the apartment you want to live at? Can you afford food? Can you afford the, the amenities that go in that apartment? Can you afford the gas and utilities for that apartment or house? Uh, can you afford the car that you want to drive someday? Maybe you want to drive that Bet Bentley Continental. And it's probably not going to happen. Maybe if you're that turf manager, I guess, for 200000 you can afford the Bentley. But it's just one of those things that you just need to see it. Like, it's not realistic sometimes. Like, I know I'm not going to buy the Lamborghini that I want. It's not going to happen. I know what I make per month. I can't afford the monthly payment on the car. I understand that. Okay? I'm a realist. So, that's what we're going to be looking at. We're going to put a lot of this stuff together. Um, and we're going to compare it. Maybe there's other jobs out there that you might want to go into. Because the thing that I want to really dive into is that discussion that people ask and they have out but they never, it's like, there's a stigma of this conversation, should you go to college? There's a stigma about it. Some people, like, honestly believe that you should. Like, yeah, you need to go to college, you need to go as hard as you can. Sometimes you don't need to. Yeah, I just said that. Sometimes you don't need to go to college because you may not make the money you think you're gonna make after you get that degree. And maybe it's gonna waste your time. Because you do have to pay student loans back, to give you an idea, I went to Iowa State for four and a half years. The amount of money I pay back in student loans is half my paycheck. 50% of my paycheck goes to my student loan. That is up in two years, 20 year loan. Half my paycheck.
Talk to you tomorrow or Monday. Have a great weekend. Remember, get a book cover, do some research, find a job you want to get someday. Well, number 16, yeah. 17, 17. Uh,